Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. I'm your host, Robert. This is my co-host, Bethany. Hi, internet. She says hi. Uh, today we've got a show. We've got a special show for you. Uh, this episode, we are not doing a review. Well, I guess we're doing a review. I think it's a... Oh, it's definitely a review. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, um, we're going to talk about and review the... <laughs> nice use of air quotes. Bite of Seattle? Bite of Seattle is what it's called. Not the bite? Um, Just a bite of Seattle. I, th- I think it's, it's actually the bite of Seattle. The bite of Seattle. Yeah. So the Bite of Seattle is a free event that is held every July uh, in... uh, What would you call it? A food festival? Yeah. Yeah. It's a food festival. Um, Lots of people just out having fun. Um, They have tons of booths from uh, different restaurants. They also have um, clothing vendors, crafts vendors. Right. All the stuff I'm not interested in. (laughs) Right. We were there for the food. (laughs) Basically, yes. Because we love food. So, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Food festival. I mean, that's a festival I can get behind, right? Yes. (laughs) I mean, you got your gaming and your music and your... (laughs) Food. Food is what we're into. Food. Yeah. So, um, this festival was held last week or the week before last what's the dates of it this? was uh july 19th through the 21st 19th through the 21st so it's friday saturday sunday and we went on saturday we went on saturday mm-hmm. and um this is at the seattle center yes seattle center by the space needle what, what were you what were your initial impressions uh my initial impression so uh first it was very easy to find parking right because we could park right there at the seattle yes. center yes twenty dollars for parking twenty dollars for parking and that's like, like all day parking all day parking which mm-hmm. is kind of standard pretty standard seattle. for downtown seattle parking a lot of things going against it for me yeah yeah a it's in seattle which i do not like to go to because it's you know parking yes. and whatnot we don't live in seattle <laughs> right b it's outside. I do not like to be outside. Yes. Yes. See, I was expecting huge crowds. Yes. It and was it a, had all of those things. Right. <laughs> it was a perfect storm of things that we don't like. So we were very apprehensive about going. I had way more fun than I thought I was going to. Yeah. I also enjoyed it. Like yes. I was, you know, all those things that I mentioned annoy me. So uh, yeah, I had a really good time. It's basically a food festival. There's tons of food vendors everywhere. Mm-hmm. There's snack vendors for you to take things home. Mm-hmm. There's a beer garden for trying things. They've got live music going yes. on on two stages. A uh, bunch of kids playing around in a big fountain. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. Um, so let's get let's get into some of the food we ate there. Okay, so our first stop 
was kind of like the first food stand <laughs> yeah. that we saw. Um, and we were all starving. So we were very hungry. And so we got uh, shrimp lettuce wraps. Or actually, I think they were called prawn lettuce wraps, poached right. prawn lettuce wraps. So the poached prawn lettuce wraps was the first thing that we got. Which I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. So I think I was the only one that didn't like them. So the next thing that we saw that piqued our interest, and there was so many, so many things to choose from. You know what I like that they had going on there? What? Is they had like five dollar bites of food. I think they call them bites. Yes. Yes. So they had five dollar bites, which were kind of like snack sized. Right. Of um, kind of their regular food offerings, which we that's what we were specifically looking for. Right. We, you don't want to go there and yeah. eat an entire meal and like, oh, I'm, I'm I'm done, done. and I ate I, one thing. Yeah, yeah. So they had the five dollar bites, which was right. So we got into a lot of those, mm -hmm. and one of those w was called a piggy parfait. Yes, which was <laughs> potato salad. Yes, and um, like uh, pulled pork on top mm -hmm. of that. And then some pickles with that. Mm -hmm. And I had that and that was really good. Yeah, it looked delicious. Yeah. So. And from that mm -hmm. same barbecue vendor, you got a giant I got Henry VIII gi type turkey leg. <laughs> giant turkey leg. Yeah. And it was outstanding. Yeah, you were fee fi fo and all over the I place. was. <laughs> I was. It was so good. And I was so excited that I found something. And I was like, oh my gosh, a giant stick of meat. I can totally get behind this. This is totally for me. So it was really... It was delicious. One of the neat things that they have there is like everything is being prepared like there because it's just a small little tent they have set up. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of watch them prepare and I, I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was really that was really neat. We got some um, some good some fun footage into some of the things that they were making. Um, yeah, it was neat. Yeah. Uh, what this is here is a crawfish bomb. You can see that some of the five dollar bites are, you know, it's like a little less, snack, less fulfilling <laughs> than some other five dollar <laughs> bites. Right? Yeah. 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 But this was like a a little snack, and I got meat on a stick <laughs> because that's my jam. Yeah, that's what they called it too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember what they. I'm I, doing such an injustice to I the food. I think I have a picture of the menu, and I think they okay. just called it meat on a stick. Here I've got a chili cheese corn dog, mm -hmm. which I feel is, um, you know, if you're walking around and they have corn dogs and you're eating as you're walking, you've got to get a corn you dog. You have to get a corn dog. Also, someone walked right by you and stared right at it, and I thought she was going to snatch it out of your hand. Really? Yes. Yes. Check it out on the video. It's really funny. Maybe she was um, going to take a bite and I'm like, well, I guess you can have it now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Uh, it looked delicious. Looks good. Um, good. The whole festival is kind of like a, a carnival without all the bullshit of rides. Right. No, no rides, like no rip off games. Yeah. None of that stuff. Just the, yeah. just the food. Yes. Yes. The but they food, do have more the fun food part. More than yeah, like had, carnival food. Yeah. There was a lot of like Chinese food, soul food. I think there was a place that had Ethiopian food. Yes. Uh desserts. Filipino food. Yeah. Um they also had like traditional offerings like popcorn, cotton candy. Burgers, like mm -hmm. pizza. We'll get to that in a second. Yes. <laughs> speaking of dessert, here we've got a chocolate covered stick. Oh, speaking of sticks also. <laughs> chocolate covered bananas this hits and two categories chocolate covered strawberries <laughs> yes yeah so yes we got we got some of that i tried a little bit of it wasn't yeah. bad it was okay yeah wasn't I bad i feel like it should have been colder yes it was I th it should have been frozen bananas yes frozen strawberries <laughs> chocolate covered frozen yeah th fruit. yes i agree maybe it was just yes. too hot outside maybe very yeah, nice day was... for Seattle. It was a nice day. So we also got some humbows. And if anybody has ever been down to Pike Place Market, it's in downtown Seattle. Humbows are super popular. They're one of the main, a mainstay in Pike Place Market. And so, of course, they were at the Bite of Seattle. So we got a couple of those. Your thoughts? Uh, the humbows were good. Uh, barbecued pork, I believe. Um, they're good. Mm -hmm. I mean, the great thing to eat whilst walking, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yes, it's like a self-contained, not really 
super messy. Right. Yes. And so from that same place, I got um, a chicken kebab, but they didn't put it on a stick. No. It was just in the little, <laughs> it was just in the little container, which is fine with me because, you know, didn't didn't bother me. But uh, yeah. Bro, and you ever good. The chicken was on great. A stick. Yeah. There better, better be a, a stick. stick. Yeah. Yes. So there was no stick. <laughs> that was okay. It was good. Here I've got pizza. Yes. You really wanted pizza. So we went on the hunt to find the pizza stand that we had walked by earlier in the day. Yeah. Specifically, just so you get some pizza. Well, and you got to look at everything and decide what you want. Yes. And you kind of have to come back around. Yes. Because, because there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. Yeah. And you're not sure. You don't want to, you don't want to settle on something when there's something else, you know, right around the yeah. corner. FOMO. Yeah. <laughs> Major FOMO when you go to a food festival because you don't want to get too full too fast because if you see something else you want. Like, mm. Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, this is strawberry lemonade. Strawberry. There's lemonade, flavored lemonade everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Every, it was everywhere. And this was the last thing I had. This is what I was looking forward to all day. All day. It was a deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes. Deep fried, a little bit of powdered sugar on top. Mm -hmm. Very desserty, very good. I was already full by the time <laughs> by the time I ate it, you know. Yes. Yes. And bread's not really my jam, so I couldn't help you eat it. <laughs> peanut butter and jam. Peanut butter and jam. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh so yeah 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 that was the last thing that you got you really wanted yeah though. it was good um we didn't mention that your mother went with us <laughs> your mother and she's in, <laughs> she's like in all the video but she's not here to, she's not here to say anything about it so right hi the internet welcome back to the show we've got a little bit of an addendum for you um i'm robert of course and this is uh yolanda Hi, Internet. This is kind of an addendum to the show. Uh, she begged to be on the show. She's in a lot of the videos, so I agreed. <laughs> right? I just thought all my friends would like to see how much I ate on Saturday. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they would. <laughs> okay. So you have your opinion about the Bite of Seattle. I loved it. I loved the Bite of Seattle. I liked how we were able to try a bunch of little parts of stuff. Um, I was afraid that I was going to eat too, you know, everything was going to be like a regular serving and I wasn't going to get to try a lot of things, but it has perfect sizes for like five bucks, three bucks. And I really liked that. That was very enjoyable to me. All right. So what was your, I mean, we ate a lot of stuff there. You want me to just list off all the stuff that we ate there? Sure. Yeah. We had shrimp wraps. We had a uh, piggy parfait. It was a fun Okay, we had prawn wraps. And it was very good, and we had it when we first came in, and it was, like, so refreshing. We were starving, and it was really refreshing. I liked it. Okay. I liked it a lot. We had the piggy parfait. The piggy parfait, I think, was my favorite. We had uh, crawfish bombs. They were not so great. I really liked them. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> uh, we had chili cheese corn dogs. Chili cheese corn dog was good, but... And it was a good-sized corn dog. It was 8 bucks, but it was a good-sized corn dog. But if I hadn't ate one, I wouldn't have felt like I missed out. I really like the corn dog as well. Are you just doing that on purpose? <laughs> have to watch the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had chocolate-covered strawberries and bananas. Yes, that was good. I just had the strawberries. Oh. I'm not a big chocolate-covered banana fan, right. but I did like the strawberries. They were very good. They were okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we had Next time I'm going to wait until you see how you feel about barbecue it. Barbecue pork it. humbows. I really want, I've never tried one of those bow things, and I always wanted to just because of the little cartoon that's at the beginning of The Incredibles. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen that cartoon, it's really cute, and you should watch it. Any mom out there, you should watch it. And I like the spongy part of the bow. It really didn't give you much meat inside. Right. What was that? Barbecued pork. Barbecued pork, okay. But the spongy, that was pretty neat. It was a different dining taste, texture for me. And then I think that was all you ate because you skipped the chicken kebabs and you skipped the pizza and you skipped the deep fried peanut butter and jelly. Oh, the last thing you had was a strawberry lemonade. No, we had, no, I had, some other we had stuff. a pie. We had a slice oh, of pie. Oh, we had that uh, blended, blended Ballard... Pie. A delicious slice of pie is what we had. <laughs> it had um, 
apples and blue fruit. Blue fruit in it. And Probably it was purple. like a crumble. It was like a crumble. It was a pie. Well, it was like a Dutch apple pie like crumble. It was a pie? It was good. And I think that was it. After that, I was like so full, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't even any, eat anymore. Now they yeah. did have different places where they had like some samples. I had a sample of some sour apple, sour apple popcorn, but they only gave me like one regular popcorn and one sour apple popcorn, and I really couldn't get much of a taste on that. Yeah, I had some not and dairy yogurt, that was okay. Um, what else did I have? I don't know, but it was a very good experience, and for anybody that can make it out to the Seattle Center, um, you should try it. Goodbye, Internet. Goodbye, everybody. What are what are our closing thoughts on the Bite of Seattle 2019? So Bite of Seattle 2019, it was fun, and we're our, we are going to go next year. I agree. It was fun. Looking forward to going next year. Um I think next year I'm going to try and get there as soon as it opens. I was ready to go. Is that the only recommendation we have? Go early? Maybe go on a Friday. We don't know. We didn't go on Friday. Yeah, we didn't go on Friday because like most people, we have day jobs. So can't really go. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, we would we'll definitely go back. Go early. Go early. Do we take chairs? They've got a lot of lawn area. They do have a lot, a lot of, of lawn area. Uh, like, we did bring a portable, like a full, a nice folding tarp with us in case we wanted to picnic, picnic it. it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can get yourself there mm -hmm. at the Seattle Center. At least this year, I'm assuming also next year, you get yourself into a picnic situation. Mm -hmm. uh, you get some folding chairs, maybe an umbrella. If you get there early, there's a lot of room. Yes. Uh, we didn't really talk about the other exhibitors that they had there, but they did have a giant Nintendo Switch tent. Oh, they did have... I would... Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we actually saw Mario walking around. All I wanted was a picture with Mario, and I didn't get it. No. So we too have fast, to go... Girl. Yeah, he was too fast. So Chasing down those turtles. Yeah. So next year... When we go, I'm definitely getting a picture with a someone because... Brother, you got tons of pictures with want... me. I'm somebody. <laughs> Do a recommendation. Okay, you recommend yeah, it? I would absolutely recommend it. Even if you are not into... If, if you're crowd averse, weather averse, outdoors averse like we are, um, we still ended up having a really nice time. It that's was, true. it was a lot of fun. So even if that's super not your jam, um, it might be worth, you know, going out, taking a look. Okay. So yeah. we got a recommendation Recommend from Bethany. Yes. A recommendation yes. for me. Yes. Go next year or don't. I don't care. Yes. I'm going to go next year. I will go with you next year. Well, we'll see. I'll remind. <laughs> Am I not invited? <laughs> Well, I'll remind you to live stream next Better year. play your cards right. All right. Okay. So uh, I'll play my cards right, and we'll both go next year. Okay, Bethany. What else are we talking about today? Uh, so we went to a food festival. We did. And they had peanuts and popcorn and candy. Cracker Jacks. <laughs> Cotton candy. I did not see any Cracker Jacks. Um, and so it kind of started us thinking about candy and the types of candy that we like. So we're going to talk about our top three favorite candies. Top three favorite top three. candies in ascending order. You want to go so, first? Uh, sure. All right. I'll go. I don't know how you're going to lose in this game, but I'm waiting. <laughs> there's there's no winning or losing at this. Hmm? So, so uh, number three, I don't even know if they make these anymore, actually. Oh, yeah. What is it, like snow caps or something? <laughs> I don't know. Old timey candy? Bit of honey. No, just kidding. Um, caramello bars. Caramello. caramello. Bars? Caramello. Have you ever heard of caramello? Yes. Caramello. That... I remember yes. the commercials. They were like, stretch your imagination from your fingers <laughs> yes. to your mouth. Right? Is that right? Something weird like Caramello. that. Caramello. Something weird like that. Yes. Um, caram because I, I'm a huge fan of caramel. Um, what about caramel? <laughs> both. So Caramello would be my, my number three. I don't have pick. an affinity to caramel. That's kind of like a... Um, one of those eggs, right? A Cadbury egg? A Cadbury caramel egg? Yes. Yeah. Except 
in a caramello bar, the caramel was a lot more liquidy and syrupy as opposed to Cadbury caramel egg where it's a little bit thicker. You're making so, it sound gross. <laughs> it was delicious, I assure you. My pick. Okay. Um, for my number three pick, I'm going to go with Baby Ruth. As opposed to Payday. Yeah, it's totally different. And, oh, um, It's a little... What? <laughs> Are you kidding me right well, now? The, a Payday bar is very, very similar no, to Baby not. Ruth. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's just the Baby Ruth is covered in chocolate. A Baby Ruth. Give me the ingredients of Baby Ruth. Nougat. <laughs> peanuts yes covered in chocolate yes what is a payday payday is like they say almost totally peanuts what yeah what do you think a payday is the payday has the nougat and it's got a little bit of i think it has a little bit of caramel and it's got peanuts on the outside not on the outside the entire thing is made of peanuts (laughs) okay so not i get it i get it not a payday fan okay not just just curious okay uh, was uh was payday in the cold classic the goonies bethany was it <laughs> no no it was not okay then okay what? sorry oh, are we still having this conversation okay. <laughs> okay i'm i'm sorry i just asked a simple question okay well jesus you go you go next what what are you uh, uh button candy is that your next <laughs> next pick no my next my second pick is a cadbury cream egg oh we kind of touched on that earlier yes we did i love cadbury cream eggs you know what i i, I like the the mini eggs better than the regular cadbury. oh oh i like the big giant like you eat them in one bite no <laughs> see <laughs> i want to eat because i'm bite. a lady <laughs> so no i don't yeah. stuff my face with it in one bite see because i i will eat a normal size one in one bite i don't want to yeah well because i have a method to how i eat it okay. like i bite off the top all right we're listening <laughs> i like to bite off the top or try and get like as much off the top as i can and then i'll eat just the center um because I, I I like the the filling. It's really good. I can't and what's in the what's in the filling of a Cadbury egg? Is that just a raw egg in there? <laughs> it sounds like something you would like. I don't know. I don't know, but it's 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 just pure sugar and it's delicious and amazing. God, I can't remember the last time I had a Cadbury cream egg or caramello. It's been years. Well, they might not even make caramellos. I know. I don't know. even know if they make those anymore. What's your number two, Robert? I'm pretty sure they still make these. <clears throat> this is an old timey candy, right? Some of those kids out there might not even know they exist. I know. I know. Because we're old. So. Because you're old. <laughs> hey. And my number two pick is an Abba Zabba. Abba Zabba. Yeah. I, I do remember Abba Zabba. You remember Abba Zabba's? Mm-hmm. I like the package. Mm-hmm. It's got the yellow and black checkers. Mm-hmm. Inside is some kind of weird peanut butter something. <laughs> it's not peanut butter. It's not peanut butter. Nope. No. And the outside is toffee. Chewy. It's a mm-hmm. chewy candy. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was younger, I was really more into like fruity candies like gummy bears or uh, sour patch kids mm-hmm. or you know stuff like that mm-hmm. and now that i've gotten more mature are you I'm more of are a, you I'm a, more of a candy bar guy mm-hmm. yeah interesting abba zabba fun to say it is really fun to say abba zabba. yeah <laughs> it's super fun to say I mean, I don't know why they've been dwindling in popularity. You've never seen an Abba Zabba commercial, as far as I know. No. No. Maybe they don't exist. Oh, maybe. I feel like they do still make those. I think, I think they do still make Abba Are Zabba. too into, like, uh, candy that's in, like, a bottle, like a baby's bottle or something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. It's a candy that you eat right out of a plastic <clears throat> container or mm-hmm. something. Yeah. It's all just uh, a lollipop in a different, <laughs> different packaging. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. What's your What's your horrible number one pick? <laughs> celery. It's g- <laughs> celery. Your pick. You are gonna be so mad. I'm- I know. No matter. What, I can't win. So I. So I love dark chocolate. 
gross. I absolutely, yep. I absolutely love dark chocolate. So, um, and I know for a fact they still make these, but I haven't had one in years. Uh, Milky Way Dark. Milky Way Dark. Milky Way Dark is Boring. my absolute number one favorite candy. Um, when I was heavier, I probably ate multiple of them yeah, just in, put two in, your mouth in a day. Oh, I would have, I would have loved to do that. Um, so Milky Way Dark, absolutely my absolute favorite that candy is, ever. That is a boring candy. Ever. What is in that? Caramel, nougat, and dark chocolate. Is it nougat that's, in there? Yeah, that's all you need. That's, it's not you don't whipped, need anything else, bro. Chocolate? It's what? Not whipped chocolate? No. The regular Milky Way. So Shout the out Milky to Three Musketeers, by the way. Oh yes, I Three only Musketeers. Had three, but that's an interesting candy. That's it is the only one I can think of that has whipped chocolate. That's got in the, the whipped chocolate in the middle, but they don't have caramel. And what's different about Milky Way Dark is that the the inside of it is a is a very light, um, but it's kind of a more solid. It's similar to the inside of a Three Musketeers, but it's more a little more solid. Um, and it's much lighter in color. That's why I like the so Baby good. Ruth is because so the nougat good. in there is much more solid. <laughs> You're right. It is. Yeah. It is. Yes. The Payday Bar is a little softer on the inside. What is your obsession with Payday? Nobody is talking I'm about just, Payday I'm but just, you. I was just... Nobody cares about calling Payday? Calling back to my previous comparison. Okay. So anyways. I'll pour some syrup Milky into Way. A- can Duck. of peanuts and eat that before i eat a payday <laughs> okay god we've well, got to throw sh- so much shade on payday i don't know what your infatuation with Damn. payday is but anyway milky way dark is milky my way dark number is one your pick. number one number one pick all right well that's an awful list uh, can, me... can i just say i miss candy <laughs> you know what i don't eat that much candy anymore either yeah when it gets around the holidays yeah i'll go start to go crazy with candy because yeah. i put everything in the, in a candy cane i'm like oh that's that's fine you yeah. have to yeah yeah and i make i make homemade fudge during the holidays too so yeah. you like yeah that. if you yeah. wouldn't do that maybe i could have more candy <laughs> all right here's the number one pick and it's the number one pick on my list, and it should be the number one pick on your list. It should have been the number one pick on your list, because you can't go wrong. A Reese's <laughs> Peanut Butter Cup. Yes. A Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. You can get just as good as a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but you are never going to surpass a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Ever. <laughs> C's candy, no chance. All that godiva any of those fancy dove chocolates? dove that's a fancy chocolate dove. any of those ghirardelli get out of my face reese's <laughs> peanut butter cup all right the and then yeah. all of the other things that are reese's peanut butter cups are good too the little reese's peanut butter cups mm-hmm. the uh reese's eggs the reese's easter bunnies the reese's santa claus the reese's snowman anything the reese's, reese's, reese's anything reese's yeah the reese's peanut butter cup hands down number one that i knew you knew that <laughs> yeah you didn't pick it <laughs> no i knew it was your favorite oh i knew it was your number one no, favorite see i'm saying it's my favorite but i should have just said it's the best <laughs> So all of my choices are like wrong. Like it's everybody's number one favorite. All, it's of, everybody's my choi- the best. all of my choices are not... wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All my choices are wrong. Right. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at what else show. If you want to send us an email, it's the what else show at gmail.com. Um, leave a comment. Talk to us about what your favorite candy is and how awful Bethany's list was. <laughs> or if you went to Bite of Seattle or if you want to go to Bite of Seattle, share your thoughts with us. What did you think about the foods that we tried? Was there anything that you tried that you really liked? That or we should have like? tried. Mm-hmm. All right, the internet. Thanks for watching. Bye, the internet. Bye, internet.